Today, our video will demonstrate how to reverse engineer an existing database. This will consist of connecting to your database platform, selecting the database and objects you wish to see, and at completion, you will have a logical and physical model as well as the diagram. So here, we're in Data Architect. We're going to do File, New, Reverse Engineer an Existing Database, select Login. You'll see here the list of connection types as well as the database list that we support natively. I'm going to stick with SQL Server for today's video. Key in my credentials. Select Next. Here you'll be able to select your database that you wish to reverse engineer. I'm going to stay with my Northwind Source database. I'm going to double check to make sure I do not need any additional owners for the tables. You also see a list of objects here on the right that you can select uh, to bring in with your reverse engineer. I'm just going to choose user tables today. Click next. Here are the list of objects that are going to be brought in. The default is for all objects. Again, you can pick and choose what you wish to bring over. Additionally, if you would like to see row counts and such, you can select these options here. I'm going to select Next. This is our selection for primary and foreign keys. If you know that your database does not have primary keys or foreign keys, you have the option to select here and Data Architect will attempt to create those for you. In addition, I always select Infer Domains as this adds some metadata to the data dictionary for each of your reusable attributes within your database, and this benefit will be covered in a later video. I choose Circular for the layout option during reverse engineering process as it tends to render quicker, especially if it's a larger data model. Going to select next. This is a relational database, so I'm going to leave that as is. We do recognize dimensional models as well and identify fact and dimension tables accordingly. I'm going to select finish. And click close. And on the right here, you will see your diagram of the Northwind source database. And then on the left, you'll see the logical model here with all of its entities, as well as the physical model. So in today's video, we completed the reverse engineering of an existing database. We connected to the database platform. We chose the database that we wanted to reverse engineer. And then at the completion, we had a logical and physical model as well as the diagram. If you would like more information, you can go to idera.com slash contact sales.